Sete family. In this video, I'm bringing you a two-in-one special. I will be talking about my one-year Houston move update. I asked like a question poll on my Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me any questions that you wanted um, that I could possibly answer since I've been living here for a year. Just giving my perspective on how it's been and just giving you an insight on what you want to know. If you haven't yet followed me on my Instagram, it is simply underscore Kelly 20. Everything happens over there first. And then also while I'm answering your questions, I'm going to be installing this beautiful, beautiful, full rich wig you see on my head right now. Shout out to Noir and Lux for sending me this beautiful unit. The CEO of Noir and Lux, Aishel, she reached out to me on Instagram. She's going through a rebranding of her company and she reached out to me to help her with her rebranding and i'm just so blessed i'm so honored i'm so humbled that she reached out to me to help her on on this journey on her rebranding on her starting over on her refresh like on everything i'm so so happy to be a part of her journey so thank you so much for sending me this beautiful wig guys you already know i'm going to talk more about this wig at the end of the video and all the details will be in the description box below so just stay tuned keep on watching hope you guys enjoyed this video all right guys so before i actually get into the meat of the matter while you're here i'm just gonna unbox the hair packaging with you guys look at the box that this came in she sent it to me in this gorgeous white box one of those like magnetic boxes so it clips and it's very very fancy never have i ever gotten a, a, a hair package that's so pretty so it comes like this i have a card that says kelly i'm so sorry about the focusing guys i'm sorry but it comes with this card then it comes in this white bag nice pretty white bag and i see two cute little gifts at the bottom so i got so a stocking cap um looks like it may actually be my color and i got this cute clip like those hairpin clips oh my god oh god ah, there we go and it says sweet so i got this cute little hair clip so like I said, it's in this bag, a nice rich white bag, and you can definitely reuse this bag. And this is the hair. So the details on the hair is, it is the Jasmine Body Wave Lace Frontal Wig. It's from her Aurora Mayel collection. The lace size is 13 by six, so that means it has some good pricing space. Um, it is transparent lace. 26 inches and 180% density so of course it comes in the hair next um already it looks like this has like a lot of sheen a lot of body to it i'm going to show you guys the lace on it and the lace looks really good for transparent can you see the lace though and she didn't say that it was pre-plucked but it looks pre-plucked like it looks like the hairline is not thick or heavy which i like i think her units do come pre-plugged it didn't say it but it looks really really good for transparent lace it's not hd it's not hd lace but it looks good you guys see that definitely pre-plugged i'm going to go ahead and pluck it some more but i just wanted to unbox the hair with you guys before i install it and i get to the questions so i went ahead and i plucked a little bit more off camera and when i say minimal plucking guys i mean really really minimal plucking the hairline was so good already i really didn't have to do anything but i want to show you what it's looking like after i plucked just a little bit more and i went ahead and slicked back the hairline i really didn't have to do anything but that just means that this wig is very very beginner friendly this is your first wig or if you just want to purchase a wig where you don't have to do anything i didn't bleach the knots i put a little bit of makeup on the inside also put some makeup on my cap but you don't have to do anything with this wig i just want to mention before i get into the questions if you see me looking over here i have a mirror over here so that i can do this while i answer questions 
But the first question is, do I have any regrets on moving to Houston? And it's like a two-part question. So do I have any regrets moving to Houston? And how is the dating life in Houston? So do I regret moving to Houston? Absolutely not. I think that I, in life, I make decisions the decisions that i make i want to think that they are calculated and i stand firm behind every decision that i make i have no regrets for any decisions that i make um sure we can look back or i can look back and say maybe i should have done this differently but we all need to learn from any mistakes that we've made so i have absolutely no regrets when it comes to moving to houston none at all i love it here and i wouldn't trade it i wouldn't trade this move for anything and then the second part to that question being the dating scene or what is dating like over here guys i think i've mentioned before that i have a boyfriend so i don't know what the dating scene is like over here i have heard horror stories though i'm not gonna lie i've heard I've heard mixed reviews about dating over here. But if you want to date out here, be careful and be safe. Is the weather similar to South Florida? So in some ways, yes. I used to think Florida was the most bipolar. And then I moved here and it is so bipolar here. The weather here makes no sense. It can be looking like there's a storm outside one second and then the next minute bright sunshine and i think the main difference right now is the fact that it's actually still kind of cold it's march 26th and it's still kind of cold outside not like major but you know the main difference with florida is we probably get like a month maybe two months of chilly air and that's pushing it the weather starts to change at around like November, we start to get like cooler air, but then it lasts until February, March. So that's like five months and it's of like chilly air. And for me, it's cold. I know for some people it may not be that cold, but for me, it's definitely too cold. And then the summer heat, the summer heat is way worse than Florida. I used to think that Florida nobody could top florida on heat houston wins texas wins they win by a mile because the heat here as soon as they step outside as soon as they step outside they start to sweat so in some ways the the weather is similar to south florida but i would say it's worse here honestly how has it been working while creating content and getting settled in it has been so hard because I work my regular nine to five job, Monday through Friday. You know, I can't do as much as I want to do. I would love to vlog for you guys. I think I've said that multiple times, but I work every day of the week. I come home and there's nothing for me to do that is even intriguing enough to vlog, if I'm being completely honest. If I could, I really would. But I've been trying to find a balance, you know, I've been trying to, you know, still push out content. And I've been actually, I'm very proud of myself at how consistent I've been, considering that I don't have like the most flexible schedule. I've been, I'm like really actually proud of myself on that one. I would say that I'm settled in for sure. Um, wish I could go out more during the week because Houston is jumping every single day of the week. Honestly, I'm just too tired. You know, I am about to be 26. I feel like my body is slowing down. Like going out during the week, knowing that I have to get up 6.30 a.m. to go to the office, it's just not gonna work. I already don't make it to work on time. So adding this to it, I just know it wouldn't work. The next question is, is there a lot of carjacking out there? I always read that on apartment reviews. <laughs> Honey, what you read is true. Um, 
Okay, is carjacking like when you steal cars? I'm not sure. If, if that's what you mean by carjacking, like they're stealing cars, then no, I will say that's not the case. But they steal tires. And I've seen it, I've seen cars being left on like cinder blocks when, when people come out to their cars. So, and I'm going to speak on my apartment, right? Because I like that my apartment is upfront about it. You do have apartments that don't even tell you that certain things are happening within your neighborhood. So I have gotten a couple of emails from my apartment stating certain things. Thank God this has never happened to me. Knock on wood, I don't want it ever happening to me, but it does happen. I don't think it's 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 an it's a matter of is the area that you're in safe. Anywhere you go, people can target any community they want. My 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 apartment is gated, but at the end of the day, kind of anybody can get into a gated community. If it is that you know you want to move somewhere and that's something that you're worried about i think be upfront be honest with your questions when you ask the leasing agents right they should they should be upfront and honest with you to let you know what is happening in this area what precautions are they taking it happens and there's there's no way around it to be honest like i said do you feel safe in houston the general answer yes i feel safe but at the end of the day i'm a woman and i can be in danger anywhere women we have to keep ourselves protected at all time but for the overall majority, yes, I feel safe. I move with precaution. I don't move silly out here with my life. If I have to go to Walmart or the grocery store, um, I don't go at nighttime, not by myself, right? Because you have to walk out, you have to put things in your car, in your trunk. I don't do grocery shopping at nighttime. I'm always checking my surroundings. Always make sure that I'm on the phone with someone if it is that I'm in that area that may look a little sketchy which i haven't put myself in that predicament never keep your airpods in because airpods they really block out every sound and you need to be able to hear your surroundings but overall i feel safe in houston i really do do you like the apartment complex and the area that i chose to live in yes the apartment complex i always say that there are ups and downs there are pros and cons with 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 apartment complexes but you know it's up to you it's up to me to weigh my pros and cons you can't check off every box when it comes to an apartment the area that i chose personally i am happy with it of course i could be closer to downtown i could be closer to the nightlife but i chose this area because i want my commute to work to be short where i live it's centered around where i work in florida i was commuting like an hour to get to work and i told myself never again i told myself my commute to work will never be more than 20 minutes and with how houston traffic is it's disgusting and i'm not going to be living in the city when my job is over here and I'm, I'm it's not happening so you know i chose this area for that specific reason of course if i wanted to be in a different area a more you know hustle and bustle type of thing more more places around me to, to to go to if i wanted that yes i could have gotten it but it's all about my commute to work how soon did i start looking at places to stay before moving so i moved in march of 2021 so early march and I started my apartment hunting, like actually going to view places. That started in January. So that was only two months before I moved. Of course, you know, on your own time, you know, you look at apartments, you search apartments online. I've been doing that, or I was doing that months, months, months prior. I'm moving to Houston in May and the facebook threads say beware of roaches is this true it is true honey houston has some really big bugs some nasty looking bugs the bugs that i have never seen before and their roaches are 
huge hair and i think they come out when it's the summertime because ever since it's been cool i haven't seen any bugs it's cooler weather and i think it's just not their it's not their habitat i don't know that's not what they like i have not seen any bugs like that in this cooler temperature but when summer comes when summer hits yeah the bugs are out i have seen roaches in my in my parking garage none in my actual apartment though but again i'm pretty sure every apartment you have to pay for pest control so if there was ever a bug that you saw around your apartment or inside your apartment you can just put in like a, a notice and they can have someone come out and spray and spray your apartment but yes the roaches it's true the bugs it's true do i feel safe in my apartment complex was this a question i answered i'm not sure i don't know if this one is worded a little bit different but yes i feel safe in my apartment complex my apartment is like inside meaning that you know you have apartments where like the stairs are outside the hallways are outside with my apartment everything is inside it's indoors which i really really love you've seen the news of people walking from their car they're going upstairs to their apartment and people are following them they're running them down i park on my level for my parking garage and you know as soon as i enter through the door and that door closes behind me that's it nobody else is getting in behind me unless you have the your key to come inside if there's no parking garage and the 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 hallways aren't inside i probably won't ever live there but that's one thing that makes me feel really secure at my apartment complex and there are a lot of apartment complexes over here that is like that do you guys hear that Oh my God, I hear everything on the first floor. That is, I don't know, somebody's toilet or something. I don't know, get up. We have cameras on every floor. We do have like a 24 hour like support call line thing that if anything has happened throughout the entire day, nighttime, we have a number that we can call. Even though we don't have physical security, we can always get in touch with someone. So I do feel safe in my apartment. So I got this question a lot. Is it easy to make new friends? I won't talk about this question because I do have a video on my page dedicated to how I made new friends. So if you're wanting to know how I made new friends, what I did, the things that worked, the things that didn't work so well, I'm going to drop the link in my description. I'll also place the thumbnail on the screen. So you guys can check out that video on how I made new friends. It's on my page. It's like my second most recent video. So check that out if you're interested. What's your favorite restaurant so far? I feel like I haven't even seen half of what Houston has to offer. Like everywhere you go the food is good everywhere the food is so good i haven't explored enough to say i have a favorite restaurant i don't think i've been to a restaurant yet where the food is like eh or so so or you know like the food has been good everywhere so i don't have a favorite restaurant i definitely want to try a lot more restaurants and then on top of restaurants there are so many food trucks as well Y'all, food trucks food, I stand by it. They have some of the best food. So this question says, did you make a blind move or did you plan for your move? Guys, one thing about me, I'm not a very spontaneous person. I'm just not, I'm not built like that. I plan everything that I'm going to do. I plan it out. To the T. I always, when I want to do something and I'm about to make a decision on something, I look, I list all of the positivity that can come from it, and then I list all the negativity, all the negative thoughts, 
just anything that could possibly go wrong i think of it i like to think that i'm a very realistic person you know i'm not living in a fairy tale a dream world a dreamland no that's not me i live by pros and cons and i always think of as sad as it may seem but i think of the negative first this was a very planned move i think i i, I think i did it in like six months i planned for it in six months so I, th I would say that's a pretty short amount of time but i made sure to plan it out to the t so this was a planned move i am a planned person nothing is spontaneous for me i don't do anything off of just a whim or a feeling no that's not me i have to plan i have to write out everything i have to document everything i have to see everything before i do anything physical to take in that step to to doing something big jump right yeah i know but almost done i think i have only maybe one or two questions left do you see yourself living there long term yes i do i can see me building a family here not necessarily in houston but there's so many other parts to texas that i think that i can raise a family here so yes i do see myself living here long term because i don't i don't see myself going back to florida unfortunately all right guys so that's actually all the questions that i have for you in this video I'm going to go ahead and just make myself look presentable my face and all of that and then i'm going to come back i'm going to give my last few like pointers on my one year move give you more details about this beautiful 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 wig and then i'll be right back to just close out the video all right guys so we've come to the end of this video i hope that i have answered all of your questions everything that you needed to know i hope i answered everything um just to sum it up a little bit i love it here i'm so happy that i made this move thankful every single day that i'm still here um sometimes i do miss home sometimes i do miss my family but guess what i can just book a flight go home for like two days, spend two days with my family and then remember why I moved out here in the first place and then it all reconnects again. So I'm very, very happy for this move. Wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. And now onto the second order of business, guys. It is this wig, this beautiful, full wig, guys. I mean, the lace on it looks so good. Remember I told you that this wig was 180? percent density guys look how full this hair is so full like i could not believe i, I can't believe that this is 180 percent density so this is with all the hair pulled to the front this is all the hair full full i have never seen a wig 180 percent density that is this full the lace looks good and it is transparent lace it's not hd so imagine what HD would do. But it looks so good. I curled it, of course. It was body wave texture, but I put some curls in there. Not too much, but it holds the curl really nice. Also remember I said I plucked it a little bit, but it is just a beautiful unit. The hair feels so good. And it's, I mean, it's giving. You can see for yourself, it's giving what it needs to give. And just to go through the specs one more time, it is the Jasmine Body Wave Lace Frontal Wig from her Aurora Mayel collection. The lace size is 13 by 6. It is transparent lace, 26 inch, and this is 26 inches because this is curled. So, I mean, if this was straight, if I choose to straighten this, this is definitely going to be like at my like hip level. So definitely 26 inches and this is 180 percent density but it's giving like 250 that's what it's giving shout out to her shout out to noir and lux for sending me this beautiful wig again guys you have to check out her website of course you know everything will be in the description box below check out her website make a purchase tell her kelly sent you guys support black owned businesses i mean this hair is gorgeous and it speaks for itself so until next time i will see you guys in my next video bye